Summer is officially here, and that means wasp nests for Abby and I. For whatever reason, they love to flock to our home, our patio, our carport, our shop. And you know what? I'm tired of getting stung. They do a good job of helping to maintain the bug situation around here, but whenever they invade my personal area and they start flying at me and stinging me, they gotta go. So I have a solution for that. The CRC Wasp and Hornet Killer. Let's just see how many wasp nests that we can count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nest, 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 nest. Big active nest there, nest. Three in that corner, there's one in the middle. Three in that corner right there. Nest up there, two in that corner there, two in this corner, three in this corner, one huge one in that corner, and two in that other corner there. And there's one on the chair, the ones that bit my fingers the other day. Nest, right here, right next to you. This is one of the ones that stung me when I was getting out of Abby's car and walking by. I didn't realize it was there and it stung me on my finger. Brand new active nest right there, right across from where we go into our Kodiak. Nest, 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 nest. There's more, let me show you. Nest, so let's figure out how many nests we just counted. So between our barbecue patio, our home, carport, shed, and shop, I counted 63 wasp nests. That is insane. That's too many wasps to be dealing with. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give them the old CRC treatment right here. Time to go. So this can right here is really easy to use. It has a nice big trigger on there. It's got a nice sight so you can look down there and point right at your target. But they also got this little straw that you can stick on here like so. Kind of help keep the stream a little more intact and you can really sight in what you're trying to spray right there. We have a bunch of them right along the side of the house right here, and this is an active area that we walk through, and they like to sting me. So there's an active nest right there, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Great thing about the CRC spray here is that it's good for 20 feet, so you don't necessarily have to worry about the spray and pray method. You can just kind of stand away from it for a little ways like this here, point and aim, spray them suckers. They like to form nests right on the window right here. And then we have a big one on the back of this chair. For whatever reason, the food delivery guy pulled this chair out the other day. When I went to go grab it to put it back in its place, my hand went right on that nest and two of them stung me bad. They gotta go. Got them. Let's go get some more. This is where we go into our Kodiak a lot and they're building a nest right there. Done. Say so on the front of the shop here, they like to build nests all along here, but they love this side. We got one there and got one there. I, I had to get rid of these every year because when I walk by here, they like to fly down and sting me because I'm in their space when technically they're in my space. They gotta go. So another cool feature with the little straw is that when you're finished using it, you can remove it, push up on the trigger and then there's a little notch here. You can take the straw and just use your fingers and push it in there. Now you actually have a trigger lock there that's gonna prevent the can from spraying accidentally when it's not being used, keeping it safe whenever it's being stored. All right, so we've gone around the house and we've effectively eliminated all of the active wasp that we could find. So keep in mind, whether you're a homeowner, a business owner, you have a personal workshop, Maybe you're a construction worker, a lineman, a utility worker, you have a service truck. Keep a can of this nearby because it's gonna help you eliminate those pesky wasp nests.